concept application to demonstrate the potential and the capabilities and how a broadcaster might use HPV TV. So we created this application to demonstrate three key user stories. The first is including uh, social networking into the broadcast stream to improve the user experience. What we have here is a, a Twitter feed that's being overlaid on top of the broadcast stream. We also have an indication there that it's saying that HPV TV is available. So what makes this Twitter feed really special is that it can be a personalized Twitter feed, not the standard Twitter feed that's sent through the broadcast channel, but it's something that is customizable and personalizable by the, the user. So if we click the, click the HPV TV button and go to our settings page for social media, this is where we can add and remove accounts. Uh, we can uh, set up our Facebook account or Google Plus. Uh, we can turn on and off our social feeds. And for the Twitter, in this case, we have some key hashtags or keywords that we're currently listening to from that Twitter API. In this case, it's SMTPE and Ericsson. That was what we were seeing on our Twitter feed. So this gives that user the whole experience where they could be watching one program, but at the same time still be following you know, cricket or some other sport or some other event that they want to follow through Twitter. Hi, uh, my name is Lale Malaki and I'm a user experience designer working in the consulting and system integration. So our team in Australia uh, is part of the operations under uh, Median Apps Domain. So what we do is we uh, develop apps for different platforms and on top of that what we make sure is to bring the best user experiences uh, that exist in the market. And the idea with HPV TV is as a broadcaster you can uh, customize it to send programs uh, based on time or based on a specific schedule to your audience. And as a viewer, you can customize uh, what you want to receive. Do you want to receive Twitter on cricket or on tennis or anything you're interested in? So it is uh, customization and tailoring to your needs. So if you mount the HPV TV screen, you are now watching the Q&A program. And normally what happens is people watch the Q&A program and then they know that they can cast their vote, but what they need to do is they have to bring their iPad or iPhone or laptops, go to the Q&A website and then um, inside their website uh, they can ask a question or do a voting or do some interactions with the content. But with the HPV TV technology, what happens is that you can bring the app on a, as a layover on top of your broadcast TV. So here you can see that you can easily vote on any topic that the Q&A program has decided to cast as a question to you. Or if you decide to change your mind, you don't want to watch the current broadcast anymore and you want to watch some video on demand, you can easily go to some categories, for example sports, you want to watch some of the events that you have missed out on. Or the other way to watch, as we call it, catch up TV is to go to the EPG. So you go to the program guide and then you have a list of all the programs from the days in the past and also the days in the future. Here is an example, uh, a program uh, that has been played yesterday. For example, I have missed on the news on yesterday. So what, ha what I do is I go to the previous day, I click on it and I immediately switch to the video on demand or catch up um, program that I have missed. Or it could be that some of the TV series that um, you would like to watch earlier than it's uh, scheduled by your broadcaster. So if the broadcaster has the rights, uh, you could easily, um, with some special priority, uh, ask for the access to future events. So if today we scroll further from today, you can see you have some of the programs, for example, Outsiders here, that is available as a catch-up so you can watch it in the future. So the user experience part of this uh, HPV TV is about making it a personalized experience for yourself. Hi, I'm Torben Jensen from the Danish company Faroa. We partner with Ericsson in the domain of HPV TV. And our domain is really to get the data into the transport stream that enables these applications and to integrate it all into the broadcaster environment so that we can run it uh, after their broadcast schedule. 
and have a dynamic change of HPV signaling during the program. Okay, so we are demonstrating here the capabilities of HPV TV, uh, a new standard evolving that is uh, picking up in the receiver part being inside the television. So basically what we have in the television is a browser. So what we can do is uh, trigger in the screen the browser to pick up and start playing an application. In this case we have it signaling that there is something more if I hit the red button here. Hitting the red button will take me into an application. What we actually saw right now is that it disappeared just as I exited the application. It's actually being uh, it's actually uh, being uh, driven by the broadcaster schedule. So if for one minute we programmed it to do a different thing, so now for one minute nothing will happen when I hit the red button. Uh, soon we'll see that another button appears, and that is uh, taking us to a different application. So. The feature here is really that we can have different applications running during different part of a program. So for the first part of a program, it could be like an information service running in the background if you hit the red button. Uh, as a large part of that, like maybe the last five minutes of a program, it could be a voting application where we take you directly to that question and you can just like hit the red button, press yes or no, and that's it. So basically trying to link up the application with the content played out on air integrated into a broadcast workflow. Um, we are written this uh, off the broadcast automation system so that it is really like accurate trigger to the exact timing of the program. Now we see the next one appeared here and this time if I hit the red button it will take me into an EPG. So this is uh, showing that we're doing a program can run different, uh, we can link them to different sites what we can also do here, what we are demonstrating, is that we can uh, we can actually, on a service, uh, remove the broadband connection and still have a certain service, a minimum service provided to the um, to the user. There's the music. So on this service, I just removed the internet connection. So now clearly no broadband connection, and if I go into this service now, I'm on the right one here. Yeah, you need to be in and out of the service here. But now we see an icon appearing here just briefly. Uh, so it's just triggering the users to see that we have actually more available on this channel. If I do hit the red button, I will be taken to a page which is basically HTML could display like the channel logo, uh, could display additional information for this program, for the specific program, and it could give some good description to motivate the user to connect the broadband connection and get the additional features.